Hey guys, it's Anne over at Plant Obsessed, and I'm going to be looking at all of my little bait traps that I've been setting for the big boy baiting system here. So we're going to start down here and look at the banana that I put in there and see if I can pull out any worms. Not really seeing any on the top here. I've got a, a bucket behind me here where I'm putting things that I, or putting compost that I think is mostly worm free. It's still pretty wet, especially the ones that came out of the end. So we'll get to looking at this portion with the banana and see what I get. It seems pretty good. Clean off the banana here a little bit. Kick out its roommates. Seems like you always get a little bit right underneath where the juices of whatever it is you're baiting with kind of seep out. So I'll fluff it up here a little bit again and bury it back in. Okay, so then we're on to the orange one here. This is quite a bit drier. So let's see what this banana is doing. Looks like it's accomplishing some things. Oh yeah, right there. It's that's a good size little worm ball there. Just pick all the ones that are close and you can tell they've hollowed that banana out a little bit. Yeah, it's pretty funny. Get the worms out of there, you can kind of see it. So pick all the ones that are visible out and put it back. All right, back in it goes. Okay. Move this one a little bit closer. This has got the old ice cream tub bait box in it. I didn't have enough of just bananas to go around. So let's see what the bait box does. Well, it certainly certainly has got some friends. I'm not really trying to put food into this system, so bah. poorly thought out experiment here. Just gonna have to wing it. Oh yeah. Lots and lots of worms. I think I can put most of the bait, scrape the worms off the bait and divide them out just some squishy apples and squishy potato. There's a, it's really, it's done a good job. I expect this is going to take quite a few months to get all of these out of here. don't have holes in the bottom of that bait box, but that doesn't stop me from getting a collection of worms hanging out underneath of it for whatever reason. So kind of fluff things up here and see get it a little uncompacted as it dries out a little bit. 
hopefully that'll help it dry out and help them move out. So I'll put the bait box down here this time. Move everything around it. banana is doing. I don't know. I don't think I went deep enough. Yeah. It's a good size worm ball right there. But this is one of the wetter parts or one of the wetter See all the little ones are just stuck in there. Might need to make a bigger bait trap for this one too. It's still way too wet to sift. And uh, it raining every day is not helping that situation. The moisture in the basement kind of stays the same as whatever's outside. So still haven't quite decided what I'm going to do with Big Boy yet. I'm kind of leaning towards a, a wedge system and just progressively feeding it end to end. Ah, this one's very heavy. I won't be picking this one up for some time. Yeah, it's still pretty free of worms up here. Just a couple. Okay, now we're getting into the worms. Okay. So let's see what this banana has been up to. I can't remember if I've got it laying on its side or what. Kind of a decentralized worm ball. They're probably just sopping up the liquid that comes from the b banana decaying. So not a not a lot of love. Probably will have to get a couple of those uh, bait boxes going. They seem to be, or at least that one seems to be doing better than the other bananas. The bananas were kind of fresh though, so maybe that's why. So the saga continues. So that's it, just a quick update on what the remnants of the big boy is doing. Hey guys, guess who I ran into? That's right, Stubby. As I was cleaning everything out, I ran into Stubby and Stubby said, you know what, why don't you make it a, a, a raffle of sorts that uh, if somebody could guess how many worms were in the big boy, then you could give away one of your DIY stacked bins. And I said, Stubby, you come up with the greatest ideas. That is totally what I'm going to do. So I'm going to pair out my orange bucket over there and I'm going to put all the worms I find in the remnants of the big boy bin and I will just keep collecting them until it becomes apparent that we've got most of them. In the comments below, guess how many grams? No imperial system for us. We're metric. We're worms of science, aren't we, Stubby? Yes, we are. So how many grams of worms were in the big boy? So we will continue to harvest out of the big boy castings and collect them all. And whenever we're done, it could be Christmas for all I know. So everybody leave their ideas as to how many grams will be in the big boy bin castings. Whoever gets closest will get a stacked bin, and I'll ship it out to you. All right. Thank you for hanging out with me and my worms, and everybody have a good night.